Good morning, fam. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It is currently 4.07 a.m. The only reason we are in here so early is because today is the last day this gym is going to be open. It closes tonight at midnight, unfortunately, but it's due to the concern of lives, you know, and lives are at risk. I, I totally understand and I'm totally aware. We're in here this morning. It is Wednesday and today's a back day. I did have a back day video at the beginning of this channel, but I went over it and it was just way too distorted. So I'm gonna go ahead and get hit you guys with the with the number dose with the with the number two video of this back day. The reason that I'm doing this so early is so I'm not in the way of people since I know it's gonna get pretty packed and I just don't want to be in the way of people. People can get in and get it out just as I want to. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. With that being said, let's go in, let's get through the motions, and let's enjoy this back workout. Yeah, let's get this back pump. Come on, guys, let's go. Okay, so for my first workout, I have the close grip lat pull downs. And for those that know about the mag grips, you know that this is an essential tool for the back day. This will have you screaming for more gains. I swear, it's it's just a great tool. It takes off all the tension from your forearms and allows you to drive your elbows a lot further back than you would with any other grip. Um, if I'm not going up on weight, I'm going up on reps. Always for my first set or for my first rep, I do more than I would with any other my with any other of my reps. So just keep that volume up and keep that consistency, keep that contraction good. These mag groups. Ooh, I tell you, Ooh. these mad groups I have you, yo, 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 gang screaming. Alrighty, so here we have close grip over back pulls. And on this, the key point is to stay straight up and lean forward with it just a little bit. Don't lean back. If you're having to lean back to pull that weight, then that means you have to drop weight. And because what you're focusing on here is driving those elbows. That's all you're moving is those arms. You're driving those elbows as far back as possible and you're extending them as far back as, as, as far forward as possible. Not to where you're locking them out and you're hurting your joints, but you just really get that good contraction on the full extension. Yo, bro. What's up? I think I had too much. Here, what we have is a lap pull down. You can use ropes or just any grip that um, spreads apart by the time you come down. And what I'm focusing on are my upper lats here. Um, if you lean forward at a 90 and extend your arms all the way out and come down, you're kind of targeting more of the lower lat or more of the full lat. But here I'm focusing more on the upper lat. So I'm keeping my body at a 45 degree angle. I'm not swaying back and forth and you don't have to use so much weight. These really burn. Just control the weight and go up on reps. I don't usually go up on weight on these. You cool with my ops, we ain't cool, bitch. You got to watch how you do shit. Yeah, you know, see you today. Hey, man, that's why I was like, man, I hope they don't close it. I hope they're not. I think I can, they closed it tonight, actually. Do it. Yeah, tonight at 12, so. It's tonight? Yeah, yeah. today's the last day. Right, right. Wow. Yeah, it sucks, but hey, at least we open like a week after yeah, everybody yeah. else. Yeah, they hate, but they broke them. They broke and when it's time to pop, they have no shit. So here we have a wide, wide grip seated row. I isolate each hand. So I go each hand for 10. Um, in total, I do 20. So 10 one hand, 10 on the other hand, and then 10 together. So equalizing for 20 on each. And these, I do go up on weight. So I start kind of at a lower weight, but I just keep that consistency consistency, and I keep that volume going, contracting the best I can to get the best out of these details. They are great for back days. So for these lower back extensions, we grab two 10 pound plates and we're gonna fully extend on our way down and bring them in as close as we can to our rib cage on our way up. We do not break the 90 since we're just working lower back. Uh, breaking that 90 and coming up above that, that, uh, that 90 position, you're starting to work into your glutes and your hamstrings. And I guarantee you, you don't wanna cause that tension back there because you run a high risk of cramping doing this doing this movement so save yourself the cramp save yourself the stress and just come midway you can see right here how i don't come i don't break that 90 i'm just there and i do 10 on each so i do 10 of those extended and then i do 10 of these and i come down as far as possible grabbing those two 10 plates and 
once again i'm coming up just midway i'm not breaking that 90 in order for me to really hit that lower back and not work into my glutes damn that's all i gotta say Woo. what a bag day I'm dead. It's 5.16. We were in here for like a good hour. I would say. Right? We got here like at four something. It's five something. I would say an hour. I would say success. In other words. Success, accomplishment, determination. <sighs> motivation. Pure grind. Effort. So much effort, it became effortless. Okay, I'm getting a little cocky, but <laughs> heal, I'm proud. That's what it's like to grind, baby. You feel good. And you end up looking good. Um, geez, I wish the gym wasn't closing today, but you know, it is what it is. People were at risk, so whatever. Well, not whatever, but good thing, you know, to take a precaution. And I was just fortunate enough to train one week and a half after every other gym closed in the state. So I'm really thankful for that. Uh, really thankful for Four Star. They've always been there from day one, 24 seven, truly. Even with the pandemic going on, pandemic, pandemic, pandemic going on. So I would say, your success, your grind, and today, that's all she wrote. Let's go have a meal and get ready for work, because we still gotta go to work. It's whatever though, we're making that break. Bittersweet feeling. Until next time. No? <laughs> I will see you, baby in about hopefully two weeks. What a great session. It was a bad day. <laughs> Came in, now we're getting out. Y'all look at that. Can somebody come look at this? Some, some, somebody come look at this. Look at that. The sun ain't even out yet. We already got a fat pump. Man, am I, woo. I can't even begin to stress how much excitement is going through my veins right now. So proud of myself. Look at that. Somebody come look at this guy. You can still see the stars. And I already got a pump. My back is on fire. People out there. Not in the gym. Oh, gotta take care of y'all. And y'all's gains. Ooh, and you better believe God is watching out for you. He is taking care of you. If you're watching this video and you are in good health, you best believe. He's watching over you. And I hope that everybody around you, your loved ones, your friends, and everybody is doing okay, especially with these hard times going on, with this crisis, with this crazy Rona virus, you know, just, <sighs> you gotta stay calm. And there, there's really no need to panic. I mean, there kinda is a need, but not to the extent where people are taking out all the food from Walmart. Man, I couldn't even find chicken the other day. I was, uh, I went to like four stores. Couldn't find no chicken. I couldn't even find eggs. And I was just like, yo, this is crazy. Like, what's up with this? Like, people really going wild. I'll tell you the first things that was gone, cereal and the model churn, the, 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 the little cup noodles. They was gone, they was dead. Why? Because man, that's what lazy people be doing. Man, they be cook, taking up all that easy food. I don't need it, I'm just saying, they took my chicken too, so are you, fit people out there, you know, whoever taking my chicken. Man, God, leave me some, because y'all making me buy that organic $3 a pound chicken. Usually I'm buying my chicken for like $1.29 a pound. No, I'm over here spending three something for a pound of chicken. But anyway, you know, it is what it is, especially in these hard times right now. And you guys, the bag day. Unfortunately, it was the last day. Wednesday was the last day. My gym was open. And I was really thankful because it stayed open like about a week and a half after every other gym was closed. So 
that just made me really fortunate. Or being being in the gym a week after everybody else was, you know, shut down and knowing that I could have been shut down any time. I was really enjoying and valuing the gym a little bit more than I was before. Not that I don't, but I just had it in my head. This is probably going to be the last time I'm working out. So I was going in and I was giving it my all. And everything turned out fine. Um, I got in and I got out every single day, gave it my 100%, probably my 110% because I knew I, it, it could be closing any time. I got to go in there and hit a back day. For you guys, I went in there four in the morning, you know, I had to get up at three, go in the four in the morning because I knew it was gonna be packed. And I knew I, I didn't wanna be in the way with my cameras and all that. And you know, people like, man, we're just trying to work. It's our last day here and get out of our way. You know, I really don't care about what people think, but when it comes to like times like this, I gotta be courteous of other people. So I just went in there really early. It was just like three people in there, three souls, four with me. And I was like, yo, this is great. Like, this is perfect. So I got in and I did what I could. Ladies and gentlemen, I know it's kind of like a useless video right now. Right now it is. Right now it's a useless video. But once the gym's open, which they will, and I hope they do soon, you got something to fall on. You got something to fuck. You got something to follow. You got something to look forward to. And I hope, I hope that you're staying active and not losing your dirt. The other day I drove by uh, Western the river, and you know how going over the bridge, you know, that little running track goes through the bridge, whatever. I saw some dude sprint. He was just dipping. And I was like, yo, something got to be chasing him. I stood there and watched. Nothing was chasing him. He was just dipping, and that got motivated me. Even though I can't do cardio right now, you know, I just got to do my high-intensity uh, workouts since I'm on my off-season. But still, I was like, man, I want to be that guy. I want to I wanna be... I want to be the reason somebody's motivated to just go out there and stay active. And I was just like, yo, I'm going to make the video. People out here doing good. People out here staying active. And I hope you're staying active, man. Don't take this time and be like, oh, you know, I'm going to take this as an off time and me time. But really, you're just giving it to your phone time. Like, come on, what's up with that, man? Don't, don't, don't be a slave to your mind. Don't be a slave to your phone. Get up. Have, Clean your room. Get, make these home workouts. Take advantage of these home workouts. Like, take advantage of cleaning. Like, you got to clean right after you do your home workouts. If you don't, you probably one of the people spreading that Rona. Man, you know, stay clean. So, clean your area. You know, take this time to deep clean a little more. Just do something. Read a book. Oh, my gosh. Read. Oh, my gosh. Read a book. Read a book. I tell you. Do something, stay productive. Don't use this time to just fall back and relax. Relax when you're dead. Relax when you're in a coffin. Grind while you above this earth. As long as we living, there ain't no reason for you to be relaxing, man. There's people out there grinding, getting it. And you know what they're doing? They succeeding in life. I'm not saying you're not succeeding if you're just chilling. But I'm saying there's people one step ahead of you if you're just chilling, sitting back. And, you know, you, even people with big houses and a lot of money and yeah, 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 yeah. They ain't relaxing. They grinding. They grinding. They, they, they don't know what it is to relax. So I'm just saying, don't relax. Uh, relax whenever the time needs to be to relax. But and don't don't take advantage of this and make this an excuse to just be lazy. That's all I'm saying. So I hope once the gym opens back up, you guys will come back to this video, follow through with the back day, and I hope that this video motivates you to at least get up from your couch, from wherever you're watching this video from, and do some workouts. Because yesterday was the first day I had to do home workouts. <laughs> man, what a man, that dude was crazy. I was like, yo, this body weight stuff really kill you. That thing was burning me. And I was just like, man, this is, this is pretty dope. Like, if you got resistance bands and things like that, dumbbells, I don't, I don't have dumbbells, but I have resistance bands and stuff. And they work great. Like, there's so many websites. I'll go ahead and drop uh, my trainer. He sent me this link uh, to this home workout routine that I've been following. I'll go ahead and drop it in the description. And there's just plenty more free workouts out there for home. Like, Chris Hemsworth, I know he has, like, a big platform for fitness. He dropped, like, a free home workout videos and things like that. Like, there's so many out there. Don't make excuses to just chill. Stay active. Keep that endurance going up until the time that the gym is opening. Up until the gym opens up again. 
And even then, just just keep grinding, keep grinding, keep grinding, keep keep staying motivated, and don't relax, don't be lazy. With that being said, my people, thank you so much for coming back and tuning with tuning in with me to my YouTube channel. I'm so grateful for you guys. I'm so grateful for the support each and every one of you give. Ladies and gentlemen, dogs and cats, aliens and non-aliens, like for real, like UFO aliens, not like, you know, I'm racist. So. I will see you guys. I do want to drop home workout videos, but I'll see. I'll see what happens. If they extend the period of our quarantine, then I'll go ahead and drop my home workout videos. But for now, I'll just go ahead and drop that link in the description. And like I said, there's plenty more websites you can go to and just follow the home workout routines. So if they extend the time period of our being of our quarantine and gym closings, I'll go ahead and drop that. But I just kind of feel like it's useless with like two weeks being out. And because that's what they say, like opening April 1st, 1st to the 16th. So that's like two and a half weeks, two weeks. So I'm pretty sure like, oh yeah, why didn't you drop this like like a week and like a week before? Because I was in the gym, my gym was still open. Now I didn't want to be selfish, but I was taking advantage of the gym because right now I need it. I need it to weight train. So that's the only reason I didn't drop any home workout videos. But you guys, thank you so much for the support. I will see you guys in the next video. For now, take care, be sanitary, and really think of others. Like you might not be able to get the virus but you're able to spread it you know like stay aware of the news and what's going on and just be aware of your surroundings but don't panic like that's the least you want to do right now that's the last thing you want to do is panic right now especially with all these crazy stuff going be the change you want to see so uplift spirits around you and just try to tell people just focus on their day-to-day -day basis their day-to-day -day routines just Go through it, go through the motions, and just be a little cleaner about it. Just be a little more sanitary. And I really hope that all this passes by fast. I really, really, really do hope so. I hope everybody out there is staying safe, is staying clean, is staying healthy. For those that have been affected by it, or if you have loved ones or people that surround you, people that you know are affected by it, I'm praying for them, and I pray for a speedy recovery. You guys, I will see you later. I will see. Dang! This chick is going crazy. I will see you guys in the next video. For now, deuces.